Guys, it is wedding season time, and if you're watching this video, then you're probably in the same boat as a lot of guys out there trying to figure out what to pack and wear at an upcoming wedding. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna cover different types of dress codes for specific weddings and give you some pointers on what types of clothes you should be packing and wearing. Now, there are so many different types of dress codes for weddings, ranging from casual all the way up to white tie formal. In today's video, I'm just gonna cover some of the most popular types of dress codes for weddings, such as tropical, casual, semi-formal, cocktail, formal, and black tie. That way you can look your best while staying comfortable throughout the entire wedding weekend. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the very first category. First, for a tropical wedding, so I would suggest wearing lightweight fabrics and materials since the weather is gonna be hot and humid. For shirts, I would recommend a short sleeve button up shirt. They're also known as a Goya Beta shirt. You can also go with a long sleeve button up shirt and just roll up the sleeves for a little more casual look. If it's a more formal type of wedding, then you can wear a linen suit jacket over the top of those shirts. For pants, I would stick with lightweight linen trousers or chino pants. I know khaki and beige is such a popular color for tropical weddings. Weddings. For shoes, loafers and boat shoes will go great. Socks are definitely optional, especially if it's a beach wedding. I just always suggest not wearing sandals or open toes shoes or shorts in general for weddings. Next, for a casual dress code, so this could apply for a next day brunch or even a family and friends type of casual gathering. So basically for shirts, I would recommend going with a polo shirt, either short or long sleeve. You can also throw on a dress shirt and just roll up the sleeves for a more casual look. For pants, I would stick with chino pants or smart trousers and you can mix and match different colors. For shoes, I would stick with maybe loafers or any type of dress shoes that you own, Oxford, monk strap, or derby dress shoes. You can even get away with dressier sneakers, but make sure they are just clean and well presentable. Personally, I would just shy away from going with anything too casual like t-shirts, jeans, and shorts. Next, for semi-formal dress code. So this is also known as dressy casual or smart casual. The basics for this type of dress code is a dress shirt, some dress pants, and some dress shoes. I'll usually stick with the basics, but then throw on some fancier dress shoes just to give my outfit a little more character. A tie isn't really necessary for this type of dress code. And if you wanted to, you could throw on a blazer or a suit jacket over this, but it just depends on how hot and humid it is, especially if it's a summer wedding. Now, if you want to really switch it up a bit, then I would suggest going with a fitted suit and maybe switching out your dress shirt with a white t-shirt underneath. This outfit is perfect for summer weddings, especially when it gets hot and humid. I chose to go with a pair of loafers to round out the outfit, but overall, this is a really great outfit to be wearing at summer weddings, and if you have the confidence to pull it off, then by all means, I say go for it. Next, for cocktail dress code. So this is where your style and personality can really come to life through your outfit. For the suit, I would highly suggest going with something that pops, maybe your favorite color or something. You could also opt in to go with something more of a neutral color, but then really add a statement with your tie. For the dress shirt, you know, I usually go with a white dress shirt, but again, you can add some color to this as well, depending on the suit that you're wearing. For the shoes, so I would go with some loafers, but you can also wear any other type of dress shoes like Oxford, Monk Strap, or Derby dress shoes. Long story short, just have some fun with this specific dress code, you know. Cocktails are supposed to be involved, so have some fun and really express yourself through your outfit.
For formal dress code, so this is also known as black tie optional, but you are definitely wearing a suit and tie for this specific type of dress code. The color of the suit just depends on the type of year. Usually during the colder winter months, you would want to stick with darker colors like black or blue. In the summertime though, when it gets nice and hot, I would suggest sticking with lighter colors like maybe a beige or gray type of suit. The tie just depends on what color suit you are wearing, and for the shoes, I would just stick with your basic dress shoes like Oxford, Monk Strap, or Derby shoes. I would also always suggest wearing socks with this specific type of dress code. Some optional accessories you can go with as well is a pocket square and a tie bar. So for the last dress code, it is black tie. And this is by far the most formal type of dress code that I'm going to talk about today. Think James Bond, Casino Royale. You're gonna be wearing a tuxedo and a white dress shirt with a black bow tie. For your shoes, I would suggest wearing a pair of leather Oxford dress shoes with black socks. And to round out the tuxedo look, you're gonna need some accessories like pocket squares, studs and cufflinks, and suspenders. That was a lot of information that I threw at you guys, but I hope you enjoyed this video and can really learn and take some pointers from it for your upcoming wedding season. There's so many different dress codes out there and you basically just have to figure out what you're most comfortable with and what looks best with your specific style and body type. If you found this video helpful, then I would greatly appreciate a like down below. You can also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of my future and upcoming videos. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Peace.